How would you describe the, the focus that your group came out with and just the effort energy that it, they needed to come out and get a win like this in this building? Well, yeah, I mean, I love the start of the game. Obviously, we were firing on all cylinders, getting out and running, getting stops, built a big lead. Then obviously in that second quarter, I think that was a one quarter tonight where we didn't play any defense. Um, they scored 36 points that quarter, and their bench had a big part of that. Obviously, Horton Tucker played outstanding. Uh, Sensabaugh, those guys had, I think we had 25, oh, 30 bench points in the first half. And um, I thought in the second half, we did a better job of guarding those two and just our defense in general. The second quarter defense, it's still ranked 29th in the league right now. Obviously, the other quarters in terms of scoring defense, you guys were excellent tonight. Is there anything in terms of second quarter defense that's like concerning you still as trends going toward the playoffs, stuff that you're trying to own in to solve in this last week? Well, I mean, we have the number four defense in the NBA the last whatever, 25 games. So I think our defense has been great overall. And you're not going to play, you know, outstanding defense for 48 minutes. It just doesn't happen. And tonight, unfortunately, was, uh, you know, a real bad quarter in that second quarter. But, uh, no, we just got to keep rolling. We've got three games left. We've got a big one tomorrow night. And let's go home and get ready for that. How would you describe Jamal's effort on both ends tonight? Yeah, he was, uh, he was a defensive player of the game. You know, uh, four steals, three blocks, five deflections. Um, you know, took the challenge of guarding some of their bigger players and, and wanted that challenge. And then that's what you want to see. And it was great to see him get into a rhythm in terms of shot making late. So he had an impact on both ends of the floor. Uh, but yeah, I thought his, his defense and his approach was, was where it needs to be as we approach the postseason. Is it also especially nice to, when he's been dealing with so many different like things to see uh, sort of some of the athleticism? He has five dunks in the first half, including the reverse. Just Yeah, I mean, off. it was, uh, you know, just obviously we had some easy ones there in that first quarter. Got out off of our defense and our rebounding. We were able to throw the ball over the top and see some easy ones. But uh, yeah, you can still see that he's, he's still kind of working back his game conditioning. Um, and tonight's another step in the right direction for him. 27 minutes, very good minute, uh, you know, minutes played for him. So we're not demanding and asking too much of him. And uh, you know, just got to be smart with these last three and kind of see where we're at. What, what do you? How do you? And I know you don't get to celebrate this win long because you got back to back. Haven't had one in a while. But it's Minnesota, and everybody knows what this game means. What's the mindset, and how, how quickly do you got to get into that that mindset of that game? Oh, I, it's right now. As I told our players, you know, let's go home, and we got a big game in our building against a division rival and a team that we're battling for uh, first place. And uh, we're one and two against them. Um, three games to go. The number one seed is still up in the air. So let's go. Uh, let's go compete and uh, and see what happens. Can you breathe a little easier knowing that your six-game losing streak in this building came to an end, and you got another win here? Yeah, and it wasn't easy. You know I mean, it wasn't easy. No matter who plays for them, it's the crowd, uh, whatever it may be. You know, but yes, it's uh, more importantly, it's just that you know we got to win the right time of the year. You know, Minnesota won, OKC won, so this is a, a game that we had to have. And you know, I, I told our players, I asked them right before the game, I said, "How many losses do you think we have to teams below 500?" And somebody said, "15, 18." I said, "No." I said, "We have four." And obviously one was to this very team and three were to Houston. So we've done a great job all year long of, of beating the teams that on paper you're supposed to beat. And, and tonight we got the job done and now obviously we go tomorrow and tomorrow night is the biggest game of the year because it's our next game. And uh, you know we all understand what's riding on it. What can you say about or just impress you with the fourth quarter defense holding them to 15 points? Yeah, I mean it was, um, you, know, you always challenge that team. You want your defense to be at its best in the fourth quarter. And obviously 15 points, 25% from the field is outstanding. And that allowed a close game to kind of you know push it open and get some breathing room and get some guys out down the stretch. Um, so I think our players understand that in the fourth quarter is when you have to really galvanize on that end. And our guys were able to do that. One more, Christian Brown's a guy who kind of scores and spurts, it seems like. And in the first quarter, that was very much the case tonight with some of the, the shot making. How how much does it kind of fire up the bench when he gets going and he sort of starts feeling some of that confidence, confidence feeling some of that rhythm, I guess, early on? Well, I think our bench is, is rooting for everybody. I mean, like we have a very connected group, very together group. And uh, when somebody's out there playing well and having success, 
you know, the entire bench is going to be rooting for them. And for CB to start off hot from the three-point line, going three or four from three, um, you know, and four assists, he did a lot of good things in the 28 minutes that he played. Um, you know, our bench is going to celebrate whether it's Christian, whether it's Nicola, or whether it's, you know, Jalen Pickett and the guys at the end. And that speaks to how uh, you know, together the group is. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, everybody.